Steve Morris Engines. I'm Steve Morris and this is an engine that uh, we just got done with doing some dyno testing for a customer of ours Grant Tuttle out in California and Grant's building a radio versus world car over at Mickey's Chassis Works good buddy of mine and uh, building the wagon too actually and this is uh, this is one of our 481X packages now what you can see here is uh, of course it's got our billet intake manifold that we designed custom for this deal twin uh, throttle bodies with uh, our ram's horn all billet uh, our billet valve covers of course but uh, this has everything right down to uh, some of our own package stuff of uh, front motor plates, uh, our balancer, crank trigger pickup, cam sync uh, design uh, this has a, a really cool uh, um, Peterson oil pump love those guys over at Peterson uh, hoping that they uh, uh, do something here when we uh, do get the uh, wagon out, but that thing is uh, Peterson pumps are really nice. Uh, anyways, uh, air motor fuel pump. That's all one uh, belt drive assembly. This of course has our piston and rod package, camshaft, uh, the whole front drive setup is all uh, our deal, and uh, cam sync intake manifold. But it is based on that 41X platform. So uh, we're really looking forward to doing more and more with this platform and Hemi stuff. We have a couple Hemi projects going on right now too, uh, pro-charged and turbocharged. Uh, this has twin uh, precision 102s on it. Now we will probably have a different set of turbos on it uh, depending on weight and how the car works, et cetera, et cetera, uh, going down to something a little bit smaller. Um, but we do have the 102s and that's what we're testing with here. So. Uh, you know, and Mickey's uh, chassis works did the exhaust. This is actually how it all does fit in the car. And we work with the car, work with the customer to make things fit and work. We don't just, a lot of times we don't just, uh, if they ask us to, we don't just um, say, here you go, make it fit. A lot of times we will work with the customer and make things work for them. You know, for example, the twin throttle bodies and, and uh, really tight, close uh, billet ram's horn uh, on the front of that. So, anyways, um, now this has Fuel Tech, and uh, the guys at Fuel Tech, uh, uh, Lewis came and uh, helped uh, work out some of the issues we were having with the uh, system and showed us how to, tra you know, train me how to do uh, all of their systems. So I'm feeling really proficient in that, and uh, looking forward to doing more with that, and can be doing tuning for people. Uh, engine tuning and dyno tuning or chassis dyno tuning on fuel tech equipped cars and um, uh, let's see here a coil on plug I really like the coil on plug stuff uh, we are going to be testing uh, if the uh, fuel tech sends us some stuff uh, the new CDI box that they have out there and uh, actually I've been working on some CDI box stuff myself and then all of a sudden they come out and they got it all anyways so uh, I think that's going to be pretty cool and uh, anything here I think that's about it uh, what we'll do is we'll go out and run oh another thing we're just gonna run this at 40 psi and we're doing this for the competition and uh, we'll show the winner uh, on the dyno pull but uh, you know I I built this dyno and uh, this is all my stuff and designed outside electronics and uh, that absorber but uh, we test this stuff and uh, you're more than welcome to uh, buy a dyno or build your own dyno that can test the kind of horsepowers that we do here. Most engine millers don't because it is so hard on dynos and pretty hard on motors too. Um, so we're only going to dyno this at 40 PSI today. I'm probably going to lean on it a little bit harder, um, probably get it up into 50 PSI. And clearly this engine is going to be 70, 80, uh, 90 PSI. Uh, capable, but I'm not going to dyno there because I don't feel like replacing stuff at the when the stuff gets over 4,000 horsepower, it gets just really hard on parts. Um, so, uh, you know, and that's what we do here. Uh, we test, develop, and make things happen so uh, customers uh, can have minimal downtime and minimal tune up in the car. So, anyways. Uh, we're going to go out and make a pull on this thing and uh, show you the numbers and show you who won the t-shirt, who is closest to guessing what this thing's going to make at 40 PSI a boost. Like I said, we're going to make double that uh, later in the car. So anyways, let's go out and make a pull on this thing and take a look at it.
tripod set up here and uh, look at some numbers. And I pulled back just a little bit short, but I can hear it just starting to roll over. It's just flattened out. I mean, we've been doing a bunch of tests on this anyway, so let me get back here just a little bit so you can see everything. And uh, right here, <coughs> we'll just go right for the uh, 4,500. We're at, uh, now I'm ramping in boost through here. Clearly, I don't want to make 40 pounds of boost at 4,500 RPM. Typically, not good. Um, anyways, uh, right down here, this will go like 6,000. I mean, at 26 pounds of boost, it makes uh, uh, 2,300 horsepower. At 7,000 RPM, it makes 3,180 at 35 pounds of boost. And at uh, 8,000 RPM, it makes 3,660, 2,402 at 40.49 pounds of boost. So that's our winner right there now as you can see uh, on the graph right there that little trail off edge is I've been already been making passes on it unless I keep on uh, it pretty much flattens out up here over uh, 8,000 8, 8,500 it just kind of flattens out out there and it I can make it climb more if we're th ramp or throwing some more boost at it um, or leaning out hard we'll do that in the car I don't need to do that here um, but anyways and it just starts rolling, just kind of flattens out right through here anyways. So, we're going to stick with that number right there. Uh, it's a nice, easy number, round. And uh, let's see who won that uh, t-shirt. We'll send him a private message too. But it was, let's see, uh, Nick Bolin. And Nick Bolin guessed 36.58 at 7,900. That was pretty darn close. Uh, second place was probably uh, Jim Farkas with 36.53 at 8,300. And uh, third place would have been uh, Sean Gersten Ecker. Gersten Ecker. Yeah, Gersten Ecker uh, with 36.52 at 7,500. So, anyways, we're going to get a hold of uh, Nick and uh, congratulations. And uh, we'll do something different on another engine. So, I'm Steve Morris. Steve Morris Engines, have a great day.